Hey everyone, I'm Adam Harrington. I'm hanging out here in an urban park in Pittsburgh, scouting out the area for a mushroom class that I'm leading tomorrow. And I started immediately looking at the wood chipped areas because wood chips, that's a good place to look for mushrooms, especially after a good rainfall in the spring. And I spotted a wine cap mushroom, Strafaria rugoso annulata. And it was a typical wine cap, you know, it was only a couple inches wide and it hadn't fully developed yet. And I thought, okay, I'll come back here tomorrow and show everybody the wine cap that I found. And then only maybe four or five inches away, right to the right, I saw these really large mushrooms. And at first I had no idea what they were, but it took me about a second and a half, two seconds to realize that these were massive wine cap mushrooms, the same species that I saw just six inches away. Now maybe you've seen them 10 inches across, 12 inches across, but I've personally never seen them that large. Usually they die back by the time they get six to eight inches across or somebody's already harvested them. So I harvested one so I could show you what it looks like. And here is the beast right here. Look how big this one is. This is Stropharia rugosa annulata, the wine cap mushroom. This is a common mushroom found in spring and wood chips, but you will find it to a lesser degree in summer and in fall. Personally, I don't really see them this large. Like I said, maybe you've seen them this large, but usually I'm seeing them more like this. So this is a typical wine cap size that I'm usually finding. So Stropharia rugosa annulata, if you're not familiar with this mushroom, just look at the species name, rugoso annulata. So annulata means onulus, which is the partial veil or ring. You can kind of see a little ring around the stalk right here. And then rugoso means rugged because typically that ring is rugged or corrugated. It's got little teeth all the way around it. And this is a choice edible mushroom. This one's really fun to harvest and it's really good whenever you throw it into meals. However, this one's probably too big to bring home right now because these tend to get buggy. And so I probably won't be bringing this one home. I'll probably just leave it behind so I can show the class tomorrow. You know, I just harvested wine caps a couple days ago, maybe about a week ago. And they were smaller. They were like this, if not smaller, even ones that hadn't fully developed yet. And the day after, there are already insect tunnels in there and they're loaded with bugs. And so you have to be careful when you harvest these. If you don't mind the bugs at all, then that's perfectly fine. More protein for you, right? That's what they always say. Now, what's interesting about this particular cluster is that this deposited a spore print on this one because this one was sitting on top of this one. And so we don't even need to go home and take a spore print to positively identify this one. Because if you look at the cap of this one, look how dark this one is compared to this one because it was sitting on top of this one right here. So the spore color is a dark purple, blackish color. If I just take my finger and rub it on here, you're gonna get all those purpley colors all over your fingers. And that's the spore print right there. And notice that the gills have that color as well. So as this mushroom matures, it's gonna drop the spores. If you're lucky enough to find it on top of another one, you're gonna find the spores all on top of it. So you don't have to go home and take a spore print. So massive wine cap mushroom. However, I probably won't be bringing this home for a massive meal, but it was still a cool find. And I encourage you to get out there and look for all sizes of mushrooms, both big and small, doesn't really matter to me. They're all interesting finds in my opinion.